everybody welcome to today's video today's video i'm going to be filming a day in the life slash study with me so today is tuesday and i have a lot of work to get done for school and it's all due this weekend this friday and sunday so i'm going to spend today um, and smash as much out as I can but then also I'll just be showing you what I'm going to be getting up to during the day I'm actually kind of excited to study I've been in like the mood of studying for some reason it's a bit odd I don't know why but also I think it's a good thing anyway um, let's get into it okay so my mum just let us order some Maccas for breakfast because my sister's sick and she feels like a bacon McMuffin so we just got some Maccas I got a egg and bacon McMuffin and also a uh, small iced latte with hazelnut syrup it's like my favorite drink ever from there so that will be coming in I'd say about 20 minutes um it's 9 30 so probably 10 o'clock once that comes i will officially start getting my work done and i will tell you all the work i gotta do and also i looked at my mum's phone about the exams and i have a bio exam and they put that i think it's tuesday week seven at 12 30. so i have to go to school in the afternoon to do an exam so i really don't want to do it and bio i'm really not enjoying but i'm just gonna try my best i've obviously will eventually study for it at some point right now I got a lot of other assignments to focus on and I pretty much started all of them except for one and that one is due this Friday so I'll probably spend some time today doing that. So I just had my Maccas and I'm kind of regretting because I had a bit too much to eat let me just say that. <clears throat> what I originally only planned on eating I ate a couple more of those things. <laughs> anyway I love Maccas and we don't really get it that often so it's fine but I also did get a iced coffee or well, iced latte so i get an iced latte with hazelnut syrup um and i just got it in a small because i don't drink coffee all the time because i don't want to get addicted to it so this is just like a little treat for me and also it makes me like really hypo so i don't really want to drink it all the time anyway anywho's so i'm gonna quickly give you guys an a little rundown of what i need to get done for school i have a little note pad thing pulled up of everything that i need to get done what i have to do is i had a outcome that i needed to complete for research projects it is my last thing and then i'm done rp for the year and i wasn't happy with the grade i originally had so i was trying to like bump the grade up i did ask my teacher yesterday if he could um draft it again for me he said he is busy but he might be able to so i did email it to him last night but i don't know if he'll get back to me so if he doesn't i'll just have to make sure that's complete by friday Day, which is fine because it is basically done um i also had this massive shenanigans i don't even know if that's the right word for it but my laptop didn't work yesterday and the one drive wasn't working like it wasn't even my fault they tell us to save everything in one drive and mine wasn't working the whole rp outcome that i was complete and it was amazing didn't save well it was this, it was still there but then i took it to it he put it onto the online word but he didn't save it properly like he didn't copy everything so then i he restarted my laptop i lost my work and then i'm having to i had to piece together all different work and i was like oh my goodness because it was actually really hard and i changed some of it anyway that's just a little rundown i was really upset about it too because i did so well on it and then it just disappeared anyway but that's basically done um i then have a she bio task that is due monday next week i have done it though um, and then yesterday in bio, I did work on it. So i am pretty much done that. So I really don't need to worry about that. I then have a business task that is due this Sunday. It is a business model summary, which I actually really enjoy. And it's mine is about a pet hotel. Um, it's called Cozy Kennels. And I can show you what it looks like after. But I've just been working on that trying to get that done because that's due sunday when that isn't actually that hard and then this is the one that i need to get done soon is a pe task so we had to teach the class a spore and then we have to like write about it and i haven't started that yet and that is due this friday so that's like the main thing that i need to get done because my outcome's done that's due friday too but basically done that and then i just need to do my pe task but at least work on it now i think i will work on that first i really pee is like really annoying to do because there's so much you have to do for it if i can get all the writing done because i think i actually do have to do like a voiceover for it um so i think if i get the writing done and then do the videos it should be all good my camera's actually going flat so i'm gonna go put the 
battery on charge and then I will show you guys what I'm doing. Okay, I've let my battery charge for about 30 minutes, 40 minutes, whatever. It's fully charged now, so it's all good. Anyway, so I've been working on my P assignment for like maybe the last 30 minutes. Um, I am still doing the intro though because I'm just trying to find right information for it. I don't want to just find random stuff. I want to actually do it properly, you know what I mean? So I, no, actually I am on the sec I'm on the second paragraph. I'm looking now at what, why use constraints, let approach. I'll show you guys what I'm doing. I'll do a little time, oh, I'll do a little time lapse for you guys right now. working on this PS assignment for about 30 40 minutes and I've gotten 626 words where I need a thousand but I think what I've got is actually pretty good but I still got till Friday and I have P as a lesson for the rest of the week so I think I'll probably just work on it then film it one of those nights because I don't want to work on some other stuff um, and if I want I can come back to this but I'm really happy that I've basically done it I'll quickly show you so this is the word document so there's like reflections we can't really see it looks like this has got an intro constraints alert communication um, effectiveness reflection so those two are good I just need to add some more into this where that's not going to be that hard but that's basically done so I think now I'm going to do some business. There's only three slides. I've only got the cover page, the problem, and the solution. And I haven't really done it properly, so don't judge me, please. But this is what it looks like. I think it's really cute. So it looks like this. I called it Cozy Kennels. Um, it looks like this. It's really cute, and it's got, like, effects on it, too. And then customer problem, and then customer solution. And that's all that I've got right now, but, like, I really enjoy doing this type of stuff, you know, creating stuff. I'm going to do some more for this because this is due Sunday. I'm going away. Me and my family are going away Friday. So I need to get everything that's due this week done the next three days. So I've stopped filming for a little bit and I've stopped doing work since you've last seen. And it's actually Halloween today. It's the 31st of October, which is crazy. But with me, my mum, my little sister and my twin younger brothers, we're actually going to this like trick-or-treating thing. It's like a park where they've got um, lollies, chocolates and they're hiding like rocks with Halloween designs on it. And like my brothers and my sister love that. So we're going to go do that. My mum's just picking up my brothers right now from uh, kindy and then bring them home, get them all ready and then we'll head off. So I might film a little bit there, I might not depending because there is going to be a lot of kids there and obviously I don't want to film other people's kids without their permission but we'll just see what happens. Alright so I'm going to quickly show you my little sister's outfit that she's wearing. So this is Madison. Can you guys guess what she's dressed up as? That's right, Clueless. What's her name? You know who this girl is. We just looked at her name before and we forgot. But this is her outfit. It's I was going for a school girl. She's so cute. We also did a little bit of makeup for her. Oh, she's so cute. And this is her outfit. And then my brothers are just wearing like a Paw Patrol top. Okay, so it's now later on in the day. We've done the trick treating. We're back home and we have got ordered dinner. It's just like a order food di uh, day today. We usually obviously eat in, but I find every single time I film a video, we always end up eating out. It's fine though. Anyway, so what I'm going to be doing right now is redoing our monthly calendar. So what I do each month is just read it because it's the 31st and tomorrow's and we have so much going on in November. It's like the birthday month. We're going away. It's going to be full. But I'm going to do it back on the right November here and then probably going to do some balloons for like birthdays. Last month I did, like this month I did, um, pumpkins for Halloween. Wow. Let's get started. I also have all these um, whiteboard markers 
so I can do like different designs with them. Okay, hey guys, so it is later in the day. It is 8.02 and I'm gonna do some more schoolwork. So excuse the way I look, I know I said this earlier, but I just had a shower and I'm a bit red and I look a bit gross and my hair is going up in a pony tomorrow because it's not very clean. Anyway, what I am going to be doing right now is finishing my RP, finishing it completely emailing it to him saying this is my final copy done and then that is done and then the only thing left that's due friday is my PE, which i've got the lesson tomorrow and the rest of the week so i can do it in there and then also it's not going to be that hard to film that so so i'm going to focus on my rp right now because i talked to my brother and if you don't know what research project is it's a subject where the school doesn't grade it it gets graded by sace and it's like difficult and usually year 12s do it but i'm in year 11 and we're doing it in year 11 so i don't have to do it next year it's really confusing but your grades get downgraded so you need to do like the best that you possibly can so i'm trying to bump my grade up to the best possible grade i can hey guys so it is actually a couple of weeks later since i last filmed this video so i don't know why but i just never ended it and then i just thought there's no point of editing it and uploading it if i didn't finish it but i'm edited the whole video now and i'm just like going to finish it now and just tell you the update on how i went with getting all my assignments done so i went from having i can't remember how many it was it was like five or six assignments due that one week because it was like my last week of school and i ended up getting every single one of them done which i was actually so proud of myself like i actually got four assignments done in one day at school i can't i think it was i got my rp handed in my business uh pe and then there was another one that I handed up all in one day and it felt so amazing. Like there was just a weight lifted off my shoulders. It felt so good. But I handed them in. I actually handed in all my assignments. So I didn't have any left for the rest of the year. But I was so, so happy that I got them done. I did actually, like I had time after the holiday to get one of the assignments done. But I still handed it up before and it was all good. I ended up getting good grades for all the assignments that I handed up, which I'm um, very pleased about but i just thought i'd give you an update on how everything went to and also my exam i actually had my exam yesterday um it went okay i guess it wasn't the best but it was okay i didn't feel very confident going into it but it is what it is and everything will work out fine but the year my school like i'm done for the rest of the year i've finished year 11 i'm into year 12 next year which is so crazy tomorrow i actually have a presentation night so um i'm most likely going to be going to that um getting like the yearbook if i get an award or anything like that so i'm really excited about that but my schooling's done now which i'm really excited about and i will probably be filming a lot more videos during these holidays as i'll have all the time on my hands so I just thought I'd give you a little update on how everything went so like I finished all my assignments and it feels great but I really appreciate you guys watching this video thank you guys so much for watching this video if you did don't forget to like subscribe to my channel and also turn notifications thank you guys for watching bye